What is going on guys, Tiswaf here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the End of Earth mod pack, aka Steve's Galaxy. So if you're new to mod packs and you've never used Technic or Feed the Beast or anything like that before, just go to the video description and click the link I've provided down there and it will take you to this page. So it will look like this, it's got a little picture of a rocket ship, it says Steve's Galaxy, stuff like that. What you want to do is go up here at the top where it has Dashboard, Discover, Community, Download. You want to click Download because you need to install the Technic Launcher itself. So the Technic Launcher is available for Windows, OS X, and Linux. So if you're on Windows, just click on Windows. If you're on a Mac, just click on OS X. If you have Linux, click on the Linux. And let's just use Windows right now. So it's going to start downloading and it should be finishing up any set up. Oh, there we go. So you can just click that and it'll start the Technic Launcher itself. And it's going to come up with this window right here. And it's basically going to ask you where to install the Technic Pack. So it's going to go to your app data, roaming, all that. Just like regular Minecraft, what you want to do is just click on install and let that install. And now it's starting up loading all the launcher stuff so if you're seeing all this right here everything is going just fine and you should see a window like this where it wants you to log into your minecraft account so just type in your minecraft username or mojang email address and just sign in like you would to regular minecraft and once you've signed in you should see a window like this it is the technic launcher on the bottom left you should be able to see logged in as your username and of course it says it's waffle galaxy for me because i just signed in anyways what you want to do is go over to mod packs and as you can see over here we we have a few default mod packs that we can just download we can just click on hex it go over here and install if we want to do that tech it install over there but what we want to do is find a mod pack called steve's galaxy so just go over here to the search bar and click on that and then type in steve's galaxy and then press enter and it should come up with this it is the picture of the rocket like i showed you earlier about steve's galaxy like that anyways after you've done that and you can see the rocket and all that stuff you want to go to the bottom right corner and hit install and now you can see it's starting to download the mod pack, downloading all the mods, doing all that good stuff. It's probably going to take a few minutes to download and install, so I'll see you guys here in a second whenever it's done. Alright, and now the mod pack is done installing. You can tell it's done installing because there is no little bar at the bottom. And at the bottom right, you can see it says play. So we can just click on play. It's going to start loading up. And in a second here, we should see the Minecraft window open. It's just loading up all this stuff because it's running for the very first time. So it's probably going to take like a minute or so to start up. All right, now we can see the Mojang logo is loading in just fine. All right, and here we are loading into the Steve's Galaxy mod pack. As you can see, we have the rocket ship here. You can play alone or you can play online on the official Steve's Galaxy multiplayer server. I haven't played on it just yet, but I assume it's pretty good and fun. So, of course, you can just go over here, play alone, create a new world, of course, name that whatever you want. Let's just uh, keep it as that. Create a new world and let's see what kind of world we spawn in. All right, and we are loaded into Steve's Galaxy, and as you can see, we loaded into the vault here. We have the bed, we have the chest, of course, with our adventure backpack and a few other goodies, and we can go to the surface over here. Oh, wow, this one's actually pretty deep compared to the one I have been in my uh, End of Earth series. And as you can see, oh my god, we actually spawned, ooh, this is really nifty. We spawned next to a giant crater, we have, we have this, this red sand all over the place. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. I have never, what is with this smoke, smoke stuff going on here? That's pretty cool. Let me get rid of that. Let's go explore this crater real quick. This looks really interesting. Ooh, ooh, look at that, two meteors here. Anyways, that is how you install the Steve's Galaxy mod pack on your computer. So now you guys can go play for yourselves if you haven't already. Thank you guys all very much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any of my End of Earth series where I actually play in this mod pack. So, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there. Oh my god, get away from the zombies! Oh no! Oh no, I'm dying! Oh no!